Uh, good. I'm uh, I'm doing great this morning. How are you doing? Oh, by doing a lot of sailing. That's the best way to train for for any activity is just to do more of it. <clears throat> we spent the uh, we spent the year before the race uh, sailing as much as possible in order to be ready to do it. Well, it takes uh, a lot of the day uh, with changing sails and trimming and everything else. <clears throat> And then you have all the normal things like eating and sleeping and uh, cleaning yourself and all that. And before you know it, the day is over for sure. Mm, I don't think there's any very, very typical breakdowns. I think maybe broken sails is probably the most common thing. And if you have the materials on board and the necessary tools, you can fix anything without any worries. That's a major problem. Uh, if we if we lose electrical power, the race is over for us because we can't run the autopilots or the uh, computer to get weather information or anything else. So it's crucial. Uh, uh, very well thus far, knock on wood. We uh, we have between five and ten knots of breeze uh, still out of the east and have not stopped yet. So hopefully that continues. Well, in in these lighter conditions, we're not as compromised as we will be later on when there's more wind and waves. So we're pretty happy to be keeping up now and are, are definitely worried about what's going to happen when we get into the stronger upwind trade winds conditions uh, a little later on. Well, there is no real plan for it. I mean, uh, the, the, the boat is in the condition that it's in, and uh, we... We, we do the best we can with what we have, and uh, at the moment, that's what we're doing. That's what we're going to continue to do. You know, you can't uh, you can't change reality, and the reality is we're not not capable to, for us to cant the keel uh, to the maximum anymore, and that compromises our speed all the time. So um, Boris and I have accepted that, and we just uh, get on with our day-to-day -day work. You know? Yeah, you know, uh, we had spent uh, almost the entire year together before that, so. Uh, it's been a it's been a long time with the two of us side by side all day every day, and so yeah, we know each other very well at this point, and that's definitely uh, fairly simple at this at this stage. Yeah, it's an issue every day. Uh, right now in the cabin it's 32 degrees, and uh, outside it's probably 36 or I don't know a lot, and uh, definitely for me more than him I, I get burned very easily and uh, I have uh, factor 50 at least uh, every day for, for sun cream and uh, we were hats and all this kind of stuff so yeah it's a real problem for sure especially in this area well you know I would have I would have told you uh, six weeks ago that the uh, the heat really bothered me a lot but uh, it was awfully cold down in the south for a long period of time all things considered, I would still say that probably the heat is worse than the cold, though, for sure. I think Boris agrees with me on that.